In this video, we'll talk about some myths around contacting and communicating your spirit guides. Now, if you are starting your journey with communicating your spirit guides, I'm sure you hear lots of do's and don'ts. Now, in this video, I'll share with you four most important myths about communicating with your spirit guides. To get some amazing tips and techniques about spiritual awakening and psychic development, subscribe to my channel and hit that bell to be notified every time I share a new video. Now, when it's come to communication with the spirit guides, people say lots of things and lots of things are nothing more than myths. Now, in this video, I will share with you four popular myths that I heard them in my journey when I started my journey with communicating my spirit guides. And some of them, to be honest, set me off from being able to communicate with my spirit guides. And these days when I teach my workshop channeling the spirit guides, I ask people to be careful from the, what the information that they take from here and there about their ability and how to channel their spirit guides and communicate with them. So what are these myths? Number one, you need to be vegetarian or drink water specific kind of water that's clean water and doesn't have fluoride. Now that's a myth. I'm not vegetarian and I drink tap water and I am able to communicate with my spirit guides. And I saw lots of people, my teachers, my spiritual teachers and lots of people who are not vegetarian and be able to communicate with their spirit guides. Now, if you are vegetarian, it may help you, but more important than what comes, what goes inside your body is what is, how you vibrate, how your whole body vibrate. And I talk in my previous videos about meditation and how it is important to um, clean your vibration, raise your vibration, um, help you to be able to have a relaxed mind and a calm mind and relaxed body. Number two, you need to have purification period before being able to communicate with your spirit guides. And that's also not true, but you always need to work at raising your vibration, calming your mind and relaxing your body. This is more important than the purification period. Maybe the purification period is for you is three minutes, maybe more. If you are in a, a good state, a good vibration, you are not worry, not uh, angry. Uh, I'm, I don't want you to be happy and uh, all over the place, but the thing is you just need to be calm and relaxed to be able to communicate with them. As I said, it may take three minutes and it may take longer, but doesn't mean that you cannot start with your practice. Definitely you can. Before continue with the myths, I want to hear from you. Please comment down below this video about things that you hear from people, or maybe if you attended a course that you hear and you think that it's, it's a myth, um, I'd love to hear it from you. P please comment down in this video. Number three, you need to be born with psychic abilities to be able with, to communicate with the spirit guides. And I think that's really become, it's become more clear to people that we all have psychic abilities. We all can channel our spirit guides, communicate with them, talk to them. The only thing that you, you need to take in mind that maybe your kind, your the type of communication, your communication with your spirit guides is different from other people. I don't want to go in deep with that, but say, for example, some people find writing, automatic writing is easy for them. Some people find voice channeling is easy for them. So don't compare yourself to other people, but definitely you can channel them. It is, it just take a bit of a practice to know which type you need to 
keep practicing more or which type you are comfortable more and you feel that you get messages doing it more but all of us all of us can channel our spirit guides and by the way there are amazing amazing people who channel the spirit guides and they never born with that ability they acquire it they they attain it myth number four your dad or grandfather who passed away one month or 10 days back is your spirit guides and that's a myth guys don't talk to the dead don't annoy them they need to go through their healing to be able to be as a spirit guide yes they, uh, your ancestor can be your spirit guide um, who passed away more than 100 years but definitely not your father not your not your grandfather if your father and grandfather you think that they are sp your spirit guides they talk to you they can they can talk to you but they can but the spirit guides is a spirit who will help you to progress on earth as a spirit not someone just pass away which most probably they are a ghost who doesn't who, who who's refusing to move and to heal and to continue their journey if you want to know more please check my channeling uh, your spirit guides workshop i will believe i will leave uh, a link below this video if you like this video please let me know by, by liking it and um, subscribing to my channel uh, and please share it with the people share this video with the people who are interested in channeling their spirit guides and communicating with them i also love to hear from you how how beneficial you find this video what's the takeoff of from this video any questions that you want me to answer i'll look for a word to read them and respond as well also if you didn't uh, watch my video about unlock uh, the contact with the spirit guides and um the nifty techniques to communicate with your spirit guides please watch them i will leave um, a link below thank you so much for watching see you in the next video and have a great day